Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy King. Got the Galaxy Note 5 here. Copped this on the 21st. Uh, it's my new baby right here. So, you know, I had pretty much a week to work with this phone. I'm going to show you what it looked like coming off the box. Mine's is already open. You know, I've been toying around with it for about a week. So, just want to show y'all what it looked like coming out the box, which you can expect in a box if you uh, decide to go get it. Also, grab this puppy right here for my wife. Galaxy 6 Edge Plus. It's also a nice phone. I'm not going to do the review on this phone. It's pretty much the same phone without the S Pen. And you got a few, uh, you got a few things with the, um, the Edge uh, that you can't do with the Note 5, of course. So, but I'm not going to do a review on that. I'm just doing one on this Note 5. Let me show y'all what we got. Let's see. Let's see if y'all can see that. We got a 64-bit octa-core processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 5.7 inch quad HD Super AMOLED display. You got the uh, 16 megapixel on the back. You got the 5 on the front. Uh, you got image stabilization. Um, wireless charging is built in the phone. Uh, of course, the back can't come off the phone. So you got wireless chargers capability. You got um, you got Samsung Knox. You know, a lot of people don't pretty much use that. I know I don't. Um, you got Samsung Pay that's coming uh, September, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, out the box, let's see what y'all can get. Phone on top. Set that to the side, clean this up. Get your usual garbage, you know, pamphlets and stuff that a lot of us don't read people like me not saying everybody uh, you got your sim card key you got your charger your cord charger cord out the box is gonna be probably about like uh, we'll say three and a half four feet long you might want to check Amazon and see if you can get a longer one I know I like longer chargers so I like my cord to stretch I like to you know sit on the couch or be in the bed while I'm on my phone half the time so I like a longer charger cords but, uh, you also got a uh, fast charging capability I don't know if y'all can see that this is your fast charger right here take about a good hour and a half to get my phone to a hundred uh, the battery life is is, is pretty good uh, you got your Samsung headphones that they send let me show y'all what these look like get this open Uh, get this plastic off of here. So basically, they went iPhone-ish. You know, I really won't use these because I'm, I'm rocking the LG Tones right now. So there's really no need for these. I'll probably just use these as a backup, say if something happened to my Bluetooth or something like that. Um, you got your extra tips. Got extra tips for your S Pen. You know, a lot of people are rough on the S Pen, heavy-handed, you know, mashing on the screen. Um, one thing that you do want to know about the S Pen, let me show you that. It's this feature here while your phone is locked. Uh, you're able to write on the screen. So say if you want to take down notes, uh, you can write them in a hurry. You put this back in, it automatically save. Um, another thing to note, there's an issue with the Galaxy Note 5 that I've been seeing. If you take this pen and stick it in backwards, if you're an idiot and you stick it in backwards, because you've got to be, you know, kind of retarded, um, you stick it in backward, it's a sensor right here. And what happened is this will get caught on that sensor. So when you snatch force it out, it'll break the sensor. Then your S Pen won't work. Then you would basically have a regular phone uh, without the S Pen. So that's just something to keep in mind um, but this is the Note 5 I got the black sapphire I know it looked you know like it's black right now but in the daylight it's a uh, it's more of a navy blue look so you know I kinda like that I usually always get the white uh, Galaxy Note so I said I'll go ahead and get this one this time but uh, this is my setup uh, fingerprint scanner excellent works excellent every time let me turn the brightness down so y'all be able to see what my phone is like. Uh, yeah, that's good right there. Um, 
nothing too extreme when it comes to the changes of the phone. Um, this is a theme that I downloaded from the, the Galaxy uh, themes that you get with this phone. You know, I mean, it's it's hundreds of themes on here. You can get it with your phone instead of going into the market or download Nova Launcher and all of that stuff. You pretty much can customize your phone yourself. Um, but, you know, it's like I said, this phone is, is pretty damn nice. Um, you got Android 5.1 on here right now. Um, you will be getting a update to Marshmallow. That's the next Android that's coming out. So Marshmallow will be coming out. But um, this is pretty much a setup right here. It's a little bit more organized. And for me, you know, I didn't really get a chance to mess around with the Galaxy Note 4. I kept the 3 because the 3 got the update for the um, for Lollipop. So it basically made it almost the same phone. Um, the Note 5, I mean, Note 4 had a a better camera you know a few little features but the finger the fingerprint scanner on there wasn't all that great anyway so i just said i just wait so i went ahead and wait to cop this though um but you know it's a nice size phone it's a little slimmer um but it's pretty much the, you know the same height so uh, it's a nice size phone compared to the um the six edge plus but you know, a lot of people complain about it slippery. I haven't, you know, had no problems with it being slippery or nothing like that. Unless you, you know, still got lotion on your hands or whatever it is you might be doing. You know, it's pretty, it's a pretty good phone. I ain't slipping out my hand. So, unless you got greasy fingers, you know, you, you pretty much would be all right. Um, but uh, let me show y'all this bloatware. This is the bloatware right here. At the top, you see these folders here. It's nothing you can do with them. They stuck. <laughs> you stuck with them. I mean, you got, you know, T-Mobile, Social, Samsung, Microsoft, and you got your Google. So, I mean, it pretty much stuck with it. You know, they, they took a lot of stuff out, but they put some more in, you know, and that's just how Samsung get down sometimes. But um, it's pretty much as my apps right here. I'll show you this. And this is your S Pen features. This is Air Command now. So let me see if I can get y'all to see these apps. You get uh, Action Memo, Smart Select, you get Screen Write. Um, and then you get an option to put your, your favorite three apps on here. You know, I got Bleacher Report, got my Bible app, got my Phoenix app on here. That's Phoenix or Twitter. So you can customize it any way that you want. Um, all you got to do is go here to shortcuts and they give you an option of three. As you can see there, give you an option of three at the top. Uh, you can take them away or add them whenever you want to. Scroll through them, like, uh, see what you want, put them on there. I mean, it's a pretty nice feature, man. It looked way more cleaner and more professional. So I, I like the approach that Samsung taken. Um, let's see what else we got here. I'm going to go into this Bleacher Report app real fast for y'all, show y'all something. And these is my squads here. You know, of course, the Lions kicked the Jaguars' ass today. Um, for instance, let me show you this. Okay, say you pull up a web page. What you can do, click your button, hit screen right. Bam, snatch a, it's going to snap a picture, and you get this option down here, scroll capture. Tap scroll capture, it scroll down, you can capture more, capture more, capture more. And as you can see, you can capture a whole web page and a picture. Okay, then you can write on it, whatever you want to do, send it to your boys, you know, it's a pretty nice little feature, man. Uh, you know, these are just a few features that I got going on on this phone. Uh, it's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot more little, you know, little toys to mess around with. But um, that's just one of the features. Let me show you all this. This is the camera. All right. Uh, We're going to hit settings. Uh, these is pretty much your settings, what you're going to get. I want to show y'all something right fast. You tap mode, and this is what you get right here. 
you get pro you get a uh, selective focus you get this new feature right here of uh, video collage so basically what you can do I'll show y'all example you you tap that it's gonna take six seconds of a video you tap it again And you're gonna do this four times. I know a lot of people use Viz Stitch and you know apps like that to try to make video collages, but now you got one built in on your phone. You don't have to deal with that. Okay, so now what it do is gonna play all four of them for you at the same time. Okay. So that's one of the features that you get with the, uh, the new mode settings on the camera. And you also get this here, live broadcasting. Uh, if you like me, you're probably going to end up using this feature uh, whenever you want to do something. Do a live stream on the go. Uh, say you're in the store, you want to show people what you're buying, stuff like that. You tap live uh, live broadcast and it'll stream right to YouTube. Uh, no more Twitch and all of that crap. You go right to YouTube. And uh, that's that's real convenient for me. So. You got, a, you got a few other features on here. I haven't really played around with them that much, but uh, I'll probably do an in-depth video uh, a little bit later this month about that. So that's the camera. Um, and that's that's pretty much it as far as new features. Um, like I said, you know, they switched up a lot of little things, but as far as the main things that's, that's new and, you know, uh, besides the camera and the finger the fingerprint scanner, let me show y'all again. It's, it's just accurate, man. I love this fingerprint scanner. If you got like a bank account, if you got a bank account like me, um, some of them come with an app available. Mine comes with an app available, and instead of having to put my information in, it lets me finger scan. So what you want to do? Hit your finger fingerprint scanner. I'm not gonna show y'all my bank account, but I'll show y'all a quick example and turn it off before it even get there. See? Okay. So I got a bank account with my bank, and all I have to do is hit fingerprint scanner, and automatically it's going to take me in. My accounts, I can transfer money, everything that I need to do. That's that's one thing that's very convenient for me. So uh, that's just another example. But um, this phone is a beast, man, and I'm a... I'm getting ready to go ahead and show y'all a few pictures that I took. Um, and man, the, the, I mean, the camera is ridiculous, man. Especially the front facing camera you for selfies is wide enough that you can get other people in the selfies. This, this phone is a beast, man. And it's definitely worth an upgrade. So if you was considering upgrading from the Note 4 to the Note 5, this is what you get right here. Um, it's definitely an upgrade. It's definitely worth it. Um, uh, people having problems about the the expandable storage. Um, okay, you can get a card reader uh, probably from your phone store where you get the phone, or you can go to Walmart, Best Buy, or you can order it off Amazon. Get you the card reader, take your SD card, pop it in there, pop it in the bottom of your phone. Simple. You got storage. You don't have to use the cloud systems with this phone. I know a lot of people skeptical about using that because it's basically, you know, like the government is monitoring you. But, you know, I, I got a card reader, you know, and I pop my my SD card in and out. I'm good with that. Um, and that's just a solution. I feel sorry for the iPhone people. I haven't seen no card reader for the iPhone. So you pretty much stuck. Um, but. You can get a card reader for this phone, man, and you can you can store you some good memory. So that's just the option to put out there for you guys, man. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this phone. Let me show y'all one more thing before I get out of here. And a lot of y'all got these available in the store. Um, this is a screen protector made from Pure Gear. I got this from the store. Now, a lot of y'all didn't even realize that I had a screen protector on this phone. But if you look close enough, you can see right here that it's a screen protector on here. Listen, if you want a screen protector that's going to be 100% bubble free, 
lint free every single time there you go see if your store got it where they where they sell the phone see if you can find it on Amazon but it's made by pure gear and this is how it's set up basically you open this boy up hold on fellas Alright, so basically what you're going to do, you're going to open this boy up and you're going to have a roller sitting at the top. Let me show you the picture of it. This is your roller here. I threw mine in the garbage. I just had this box sitting around in my room. So uh, you're going to have a roller at the top and the screensaver is going to flap down right here. You're going to sit your phone right there in this spot right here. So what happens when you sit your phone down in there? The screensaver is going to flap right over your phone for a perfect fit. You're going to take the roller and you're going to take it and roll it right down over your, your uh, phone. Now, what they give you is alcohol pads and they give you a, a micro S, um, uh, not a micro SD, <laughs> a microfiber cloth to clean it up real good. And, uh, you know, and then you, you just take it and roll it on there, man. You won't have nothing. I mean, when I say nothing, I mean nothing. I don't have nothing on my screen and my wife the same and she got a thicker screensaver and it's nothing so if you want a perfect every time that's what you get uh, see if you can find it uh, but if you can't <laughs> good luck to you man because I know I, I, I'll be snapping on these screens these screen protectors man and I mean it is it's frustrating sometimes so oh man that's pretty much it that's what you got. It's your Galaxy Note 5. Uh, and that's pretty much it, man. That's all I got for y'all. I'll see y'all guys later, man. I'll be doing videos later on this week. And I'll be showing y'all camera quality, things like that, man. So I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.